According to the latest figures from the U.S., one child is treated in their emergency rooms every three minutes from a toy-related injury. The category of injuries from poorly designed toys is truly horrifying, causing things like chemical poisoning, broken bones, choking, asphyxiation, burns, cuts, bruises, severe eye and head injuries. Despite, in recent times, stringent legislations and regulations regarding toy safeties having been brought out across the world, evidence clearly shows TRI, or toy-related injuries, is on the rise. And though there has been many prosecutions, countless seizures, and numerous recalls of these dangerous toys, children are regularly maimed or even dying because of them. With the global market estimated to be worth a whopping $90 billion a year and the rise of internet shopping, it means parents will have to be more vigilant than ever when it comes to buying that special toy for their little ones. I'm Mike with Liz25, and here are some examples of toys that have been sold in the past that are dangerous, and some even being potentially lethal. And it may surprise you that some of these toys are still on sale today. 25. Hannah Montana Pop Star Card Game Hannah Montana was a hit Disney Channel TV show about a young girl who was just a normal student by day, but by night was secretly a world-famous rock star. So it came as a shock when in 2007 it was discovered that the Hannah Montana Pop Star Card Game contained more than 75 times the legal limit of lead allowed in a product. Lead is highly poisonous, and the human body has a hard time breaking it down. Oddly, the authorities could not demand a recall of the product due to a technicality. As the lead was found to be in the vinyl coating of the cards and not in the paint itself, something that wasn't against U.S. regulations at the time. 24. Yeti Soft Toy In 2019, it was finally proven Yetis do actually exist, as they started to pop up all over homes across America. This soft, cuddly toy by Douglas Company Incorporated was designed for children two and up. The only problem was its white, long, fiber-like hair can easily become detached and therefore pose a real choking hazard to young children. Despite concerns raised by Watch, World Against Toys Causing Harm, this 9-inch toy is still on sale at the time of this recording. 23. Counterfeit Toys no matter how tempting it is to get a half-price knockoff Teletubby or Barbie from some shady market stall, it's rarely worth it, considering the risk it can pose to your children. Few of these products ever comply to any of the safety standards, and are often downright dangerous. Some contain poisonous toxic materials, while others had hidden sharp edges, and worryingly, many pose choking or strangulation hazards to young children due to loose parts. For instance, during Christmas of 2018, the Cambridgeshire Trading Standards in the UK seized 1,000 cheap teddy bears that had little eyes and noses that could easily detach and pose a real danger to small children. 22. Hoverboards, or more appropriately, wheelie boards, because they don't hover. Let's face it, the hoverboard was a craze that never quite took off, despite all the hype probably because they were so hard to master. After many bruises and a few broken bones, a lot of people started to wonder what was so wrong with walking that it needed to be replaced with such a dangerous and awkward device, especially when a good quality, the hoverboard, can cost you excess of $200. And the worst is yet to come. Segway has now introduced an electronic hover shoe called the Ninebot Drift. 21. Sky Dancers. Galoob Incorporated brought out the supposedly graceful Sky Dancers toys that were meant to give the illusion of fairies flying magically through the sky. You achieve this by pulling on a cord and it sent a fairy princess just flying through the air with her wings, outstretched, rotating frantically as she did so. The reality was it would crash into some unsuspecting child, often leaving them with cuts, eye injuries, and broken teeth hardly creating a magical childhood memory to cherish forevermore. 20. Tightrope Practicing Kit Have you ever been tempted to learn tightrope walking in the comfort of your own backyard with no safety net, proper supervision, or prior training? Well, now you can with the Slackers Slackline Extreme Adventure Kit. 
It comes with an extra line to use as a handheld training device, but it's awkward and cumbersome. So, despite concerns that it's not appropriate for young children, the manufacturers say it's suitable for children 5 and up. And it's nevertheless been available widely online since 2017. 19. Jets rear-wheeled roller skates with real sparks! Razor added to their range of jet rear-wheeled roller skates, one with a sparking feature. This happens because on the back they have replaceable spark pads. Apart from the obvious fire risk this poses when you go over combustible material, they just don't look or feel safe at all. And they make the most irritating screeching sound of any toy imaginable. Though on the company website the product has had a grand total of 5 reviews in the last 2 years, all highly favorable. 18. The Alien Wiggle Toy. What is one thing you think this alien visitor could give you? Maybe world peace, and end all diseases, or possibly a power source that created endless clean energy? Well, if you said any of these, you're wrong. In fact, it's E. coli. A test by Trading Standards in Aberdeen, Scotland found a high level of the dangerous bacteria in the Alien Wiggle Toy's gel outer coating. It was thought to have occurred when contaminated water was used during the manufacturing process. The toy was promptly recalled. 17. Fruit Head Dolls These Fruit Head Dolls are so very cute with adorable fruit-shaped heads. Coming in wholesome strawberry, apple, tomato, or black rant. Uh, yes, a tomato is technically a fruit as it has seeds. But it turned out they contained high levels of a chemical that can cause cancer as well as possible deformity in unborn children. So it's not surprising that local authorities in the UK and the rest of Europe confiscated the entire stock of this toy and banned it from any further sales. 16. Colonel Viper Spaceship <laughs> This product is a landmark toy for all the wrong reasons. Back in 1978, the giant toy corporation Mattel brought out the Colonel Viper spaceship to capitalize on the recent success of the TV show Battlestar Galactica. Excitedly, its special feature was that it fired tiny pellets that were meant to simulate laser fire. Well, the inevitable quickly happened when a young child choked on one of the pellets he had accidentally shot into his mouth. Mattel was subsequently successfully sued and toy manufacturers across the world were then made to put choking hazard warnings on all of their products that contained detachable small parts. 15. CSI Fingerprint Examination Kit What could possibly be dangerous about such a harmless and educational toy, especially when it's endorsed by the much beloved and respected TV show CSI? It's even responsible enough to have a choking hazard warning sticker, as it contains many small parts. Well, what it failed to notice or mention is the powder used for dusting the fingerprints contained high levels of tremolite. This is a type of asbestos that can cause cancer and some very nasty disabling chest diseases. The product was quickly recalled, and the manufacturer went bankrupt over the whole fiasco. 14. The Flybar's Pogo Trick Board This is basically a large bouncing ball with a board attached to either side of it. It turned out to be just as dangerous and unstable as it looks. Almost impossible to master, and even with protective gear on, like knee and elbow pads, helmets, and gloves, still numerous amounts of kids were getting hurt by it. So much so that some US hospitals were even issuing warnings against children using this toy. Watch is critical of the product, saying, Despite the manufacturer's warning to wear a helmet and other protective gear, only two of the three children shown on the packaging are wearing helmets, and none of them are using other protective items. 13. Realistic Toy Guns Police officers have a hard enough time making split-second decisions without the added complication that the realistic gun a kid is carrying may well just be a toy. There have been several instances where children have been shot by mistake because law enforcement officers thought the toy gun they were carrying was real. But on the other hand, the police have on occasions hesitated, not being sure if the youngster is holding a real weapon or not, and this has resulted in a loss of life. For example, the water balloon firing gun made by the US toy company Anstoy 
it's virtually impossible to tell the difference between that and a real submachine gun. 12. Nickelodeon Frozen Treats Slime Kit what was Nickelodeon thinking uh, when they endorsed the Frozen Treats Slime Kit that makes realistic looking ice cream that could be served up in snow cones to play with and enjoy, though not eaten? Though the packaging warns clearly that this product contains harmful chemicals, is not real food, and is not meant to be eaten, they then go and add to the fake ice cream such enticing scents like mint chocolate and berry smoothie. What six-year-old, or adult for that matter, is not going to be tempted to take a bite and unwittingly risk a trip to the local hospital? 11. When a toy is not a toy. Parents can often forget that as adults, we know what's a toy and what's obviously not, but young children have often yet to learn that common sense. For instance, the author of this article, when left unattended in the car as a child, decided to play with the car's electronic cigarette lighter. Out of curiosity, he unwittingly stuck his finger inside the lighter socket. It took about a week for his fingertip to heal. This isn't an uncommon scenario, but sometimes this can end way more tragically. In January 2019, three children in Florida died when playing hide-and-seek. They hid in an abandoned freezer and died of suffocation when they became trapped inside. So remember, if you have young kids, consider that certain everyday items that are left around the house could pose a real threat to them if they decide to innocently play with them. 10. Old Public and School Playgrounds Maybe today's public and school playgrounds are far too safe with their wholesome educational theme padded rides placed on rubber impact coated surfaces. The old playgrounds were no doubt more exciting and thrilling, but equally much more damaging to your child's health with their hard metal frames, many perched far too high above the ground with hard tarmac directly below them. You would be lucky to come away with just a scraped knee and a few cuts and bruises. This all changed in the US, and a lot of countries followed their lead, with the first publication of A Handbook for Public Playground Safety. This book took a look at why 200,000 American children were going to the ER each year due to playground-related injuries and what could be done to prevent this. Now, playgrounds are safer than ever, but the old-style ones were just so much more fun. 9. Snack Time Cabbage Patch Kid Another misstep by the giant Mattel Corporation was in Christmas of 1996 when they released the Snack Time Cabbage Patch Kid in an ill-thought-out attempt to revive the Cabbage Patch Kid craze of the 1980s. The cute idea was that you would feed it specially provided plastic food, like french fries, carrot sticks, peas, and rollers in the doll's mouth would suck in the fake food and deposit it in the doll's stomach to be reused later. Of course, the inevitable happened, and this zombie-like creation would eat anything put near its mouth, including children's fingers and hair. Within just a couple of months, there was a massive recall, and all 500,000 customers who had bought this toy got a full refund. 8. Belt Buckle Derringer The concept behind this toy could be seen as either kind of cool or a bit disconcerting. Introduced in 1959, on paper, the idea was that your child wore a toy gun on a belt buckle around their waist, and when they vigorously thrusted their hips forward, it caused the gun to swing out of the buckle and open fire. In reality, the gun would just jam, setting itself and the buckle on fire, which also threatened to set your kid on fire too. The toy was banned and withdrawn the same year it was launched. 7. Candy Cigarettes Candy cigarettes first appeared in the 1890s, and the packaging was convincingly branded to resemble real cigarettes. Also, for a while, you could buy licorice-shaped tobacco pipes. It's got to make you wonder how many kids took up smoking later in life due to such a blatant normalization of this dangerous and addictive habit. The majority of countries across the world have now banned these products, but a few states in America still allow them to be sold under the name Candy Sticks. 6. Popping Candy Popping candy first appeared in the late 1970s, and when put in your mouth, would pop and sizzle as it melted harmlessly. But then, stories started to appear and spread that if you closed your mouth and pinched, 
pinch your nose shut while eating it, the pressure would rupture your eardrums. Or worse still, if you consumed a large amount of popping candy and soda at the same time, your stomach might explode. Well, these are both urban myths, and thankfully the product is actually very safe to consume. 5. Clankers Clankers were popular in the 1970s, and were simply two acrylic balls attached to either end of a piece of heavy-duty string. The idea was straightforward enough. You try to get them to swing in motion and clank together, then try to repeat this again and again in a rhythmic motion. When some started to shatter after repeated impacts, schools across the U.S. started to ban the toy, fearing students might get injured. Then, in 1976, the U.S. government classed them as mechanical hazards, which pretty much ended their career as a fun toy. 4. Moon Boots These, in effect, were footwear built with mini trampolines. Sadly, uh, apart from the fact that they resulted in many broken ankles, they were constructed of multiple metal springs that could pierce through the sole of your shoe, causing the wearer's foot to be painfully impaled. Unsurprisingly, they proved very unpopular. And they're not to be confused with the more recent rubber band powered moon shoe, or the Air Kicks anti-gravity running boots, neither of which work particularly well either. 3. Target's Easter and Dino Egg Surprise In 2017, the U.S. retail giant Target recalled 560,000 $1 special Easter and Dino Egg toys. These novelty items had toys inside that grew rapidly in size when they came in contact with water. Target realized shortly after they had gone on sale that these expanding toys represented a dangerous choking hazard, if swallowed by anyone of any age, but especially young children. Luckily, because of Target's prompt action and the success of the recall, no one was ever injured by the product. 2. Small Lithium Batteries Gone are the days when children's toys were powered by bulky alkaline batteries, though they can be dangerous too. These days, a lot of toys are powered by small, shiny, coin-sized, button-shaped lithium batteries. And if swallowed, they can not just pose a serious choking hazard, but they can leak once inside the body. This would then cause nasty internal caustic burns to soft tissue like the throat and esophagus, and can even burn its way through into the lungs. The only option if your child swallows a battery like this is to get them to the hospital as quickly as possible so they can have it surgically removed. 1. Jarts Lawn Darts This toy is credited with injuring several thousand children, as well as killing several others. Introduced in the 1970s, these oversized 12-inch darts were designed to be thrown up into the air, with the idea to get it as close to, or in, a ring laying on the ground. The problem was that they have large metal tips and can easily be thrown over 50 feet. Despite Jarts claiming they were purely an adult toy, it constantly ended up in the hands of children. After much legal wrangling, the product was finally banned in the US in 1988 and then in Canada in 1989. So, what's the most dangerous toy you ever owned? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at list 25 or to me personally at Michael B. Estrin. And if you like this video, check out the ones in this playlist here.